folks, do it here. Um, obviously, you know who this guy is right here. So it's going to be a still. This is going to be primarily a, um, it's just going to be an audio video. But first, uh, first and foremost, you know, of course, Tigger formidably must make an appearance. Um, I'm shooting this thing. It's what better part of like almost 6:40 at night. Give me one second here. Mm. Okay, I'm simply gonna call this video uh, an unfortunate statement or series of events. That's gonna be the whole title of it: an unfortunate statement or series of events. Um. What happened was, is that Cutler Lover, a.k.a. Jeff Smith, was basically uh, leaving comments in another person's video, and of course, you know, Mad Bad Voodoo did his shtick, and of course, a whole bunch of other people are piling on. Let me give you a little something in the background about what the hell is really going on. What the hell is really going on is basically a bunch of people, you know what, no, I'm gonna, all the kid gloves are off, I'm gonna kiss, I'm gonna curse, okay? This video is going to have excessive cussing, cursing, what have you, and I'm not going to hold back for anybody's feelings or just to make anybody else feel better about the whole situation. So if you do not want to hear any cussing, you basically have the children in the room, you've had sufficient warning because I'm going to light them up right about now. Okay, the situation is, is basically a bunch of baby nut motherfuckers are making trouble for Jeff Smith. Jeff made an unfortunate statement. He's retracted it. He's pretty much said, you know what? I really probably should have phrased it better. Essentially what he said, and I'm not quoting directly. I'm just going from my own fucking memory. What he basically said is that if anybody basically tries to raise funds on the internet, it's e-begging. And if you think about it, it really, truly is. No matter what the cause is, no matter how you fucking feel about it, you're asking for somebody else to supply you with funds. That's it in a nutshell. Basically, what he said was basically that the uh, the Wonder Warrior Project, by extension, is e-begging. You know what? That's probably not the best way to phrase it, but you know what? Technically, they are. I mean, they're on the internet, and they're going, hey, guys, uh, if you really can help our cause, throw us some cash, and we'd be very appreciative of it, and you're basically doing it for a good cause. Fucking A, man. I love the Wounded Warrior Project. It is absolutely one of the coolest things ever to be put on the internet, and I can tell you for a fact... I stand them behind them and absolutely with them 150%. They are doing the hard work, they're doing the hard lifting, and they're helping out the guys who got fucked up overseas to deal with their daily struggles and um, to help out their families. And it's, it's really a whole fucking sticky wicked is really what it is. Now here's the fucking bullshit about it. The bullshit about it is, is that people are coming in from out of the world work and they're making trouble for people and they're raising horse shit just completely existential, um, just out of the ballpark kind of tangential bullshit to try to tie all this stuff together and fuck up Jeff. Now, here's the thing. If you don't have a dog in this fight, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of it and stop fucking with people that basically are okay dudes. If you want to unsub any fucking channel, mine or anybody else's, Fucking go for it. Do not get on their fucking channel comments. Do not get on their video comments and start pitching a bitch about how fucking great it is that you're leaving with your one fucking channel. Get the fuck out. Fuck you. You're not going to fucking matter. You're basically talking shit. And you know what? His channel's big enough that he can lose a couple people and he's not going to cry. Dude busts his ass to put out a minimum of one video a day. I've seen him put out as many as two or three a day. That's badass, man. Trust me. Sometimes it is a lot of fucking work for me to make one video a week, and this dude's cranking out seven or ten. That's good shit. All right, now here's the other thing, too. Love him or hate him, Jeff is Jeff. He basically busts his ass because this channel is his work. I mean, he basically works a day job. I don't think he makes that much money doing it. So basically he supplements his income with his YouTube channel. And if you don't fucking like it, Bail out! Get the fuck out! Don't try to fuck up dude's work! Now, you motherfuckers that basically say that there's no such a thing as hyenas anymore on YouTube, nice fucking try. The assholes are still there, they will always be there, and if they call themselves something else, they are still fucking hyenas. They are trolls of the highest order, making lives rough for the people who are trying to make a living off of fucking YouTube! 
And if you don't fucking like it, leave. That's it in a fucking nutshell. But you know what? I am tired of you motherfuckers coming in out of the ethers, making up these bullshit channels, and I'm not going to give you guys fucking credence for anything. I'm not going to name any channel names other than Jeff. And he's Cutler Lover. And you know what? If he misspoke, as many videos as he puts out, and as many times as he's talking in public, you will fuck up. Why don't you simply go, you know what? Dude, fucked up. Uh, let me see basically how and where his heart is in the long run. Not for the fucking one time where he basically said something stupid. And I'm not saying he said something stupid. I'm saying in my personal opinion, maybe he could have said it a little better. But you know what? I think he was man enough, and I think he was man enough to say, you know what? Maybe I did say it the wrong way, and I probably should have phrased it better. That's it in a nutshell. That is what you call being a man. That's when you say, you know what? I fucked up. I'm sorry. I, I really, truly did not mean it in which the way it came out to be, and I apologize. Now, that being as it is in its fullest extent, you accept it for what it is. And if you don't want to listen to his channel anymore, and you don't want to watch his videos, fucking unsub. Get the fuck out. Let the door not hit you on the ass on the way out, and fuck you. But do not try to fuck up this guy's hard work for day in and day out, busting his ass trying to give content for people to watch on YouTube. Now, there's other bigger channels out there, and they get guaranteed views, and they get huge amounts of audience, but you know what? Uh, for a low-tech video channel, I think dude does a pretty good fucking job. Now, here's the other thing, too, is if you do not want to basically watch his stuff, don't watch his stuff. That's it in a fucking nutshell. Do not create another fucking bullshit channel and just go on there and start ragging on the guy for no good fucking reason at all. That is fucking pussy ass. And you know what? If I had my heart of hearts, I'd be able to walk up to your front door and go, Hi, I'm nobody, and pop you square in the fucking face. That in my heart of hearts would be basically how you fix that fucking problem. It's basically these little shit bags coming in and fucking with people day in and day out, have somebody anonymous walk up and just pop them square in the fucking face. That's how you fix that fucking problem. To the point where they're walking down the street going, oh shit, when's the next one coming? Now, you know what? If shit like that happened in the real fucking world, we wouldn't have bullshit like this happening on the fucking internet. Because these motherfuckers would have something with which they have to fear. But you know what? There's a couple things on YouTube you can do to fix these problems. It's called a block button, it's called a delete button, and it's called a get the fuck out of my face button. I wish that last one really truly existed, but between the first two, I think they're going to work pretty good on the last one. So here's basically the, the long and the short of it. It's basically... Okay, the one sentence answer, here it is in a nutshell. Jeff moderately fucked up. In some people's minds. He corrected it. End of fucking story. Move the fuck on. Now, the other thing, too, is those motherfuckers that say the trolls do not exist and call themselves something different on YouTube, fuck you. You're basically giving uh, shelter to a bunch of assholes that are doing absolutely nothing except for fucking with people and making everybody else's life suck. You're giving shelter to assholes, and in the long and the short of it, well, I'm going to consider you in like kind, and I'm not going to deal with your bullshit any longer. I may not unsub you, but you know what? I'm sure not going to deal with your drama. And if you come on my channel and you try to bring it on there, guess what, motherfucker? You will be unsubbed, you will be blocked, and you'll be told kindly to get the fuck out of my face. And that's basically how long and the short on that one. Because you know what? I've been stewing over this shit for the last two fucking days going, how the hell do I phrase this and basically don't come off as some panty-ass motherfucker who's just, you know, throwing his dog in the ring and basically making a lot of bullshit happen that doesn't need to have happen and da 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 and on and on and on. And, you know, basically Jeff manned up and he said, you know what? I probably didn't do this right. And he removed his comments, okay? That's really all you really need to do if you want to do self-editing. Is you go, you know what? That probably didn't come out right. And you remove it. You don't leave it up there. You don't keep trying to defend yourself. And you basically state very empathetically, all right, maybe that was not exactly the way I should have said that. That's it. Move the fuck on. Leave the guy alone. Let him do his shtick. Now, if you motherfuckers are going on about e-bagging and all this other happy horse shit, fuck you. Fuck you and the horse you're rolling on. Fuck your family. Fuck your entire heritage. And fuck anything that you ever had anything to fucking deal with. You are a piece of shit. And I have nothing more to say to you. Fuck you. Now I'm going to let that sink in for just a second. Jeff, you keep on doing what you're doing, dude. Uh, you definitely got a fan base here on the Edge Podcast channel. I'm always going to be in your corner, brother. Keep kicking ass. Good times.